Hello everyone and welcome to another News Coulomb video and another one of my 500 mile trips. Uh, I'm still moving some stuff up north. Uh, th this phase of the move I have a lot of uh, really kind of heavy stuff, sort of concentrated stuff, but it's easily uh, one of the heavier loads that I've carried in the Bolt EV, uh, probably equivalent to having three to four adult passengers. Uh, so, you know, I'm weighted down a little bit. I charged up to a little over 90% when I was reviewing the uh, Camarillo Outlets uh, Electrify America site. So I am starting with a reasonably high state of charge. Uh, but unfortunately, it looks like just according to the weather forecasts, I'm going to be driving into about a 20 mile an hour headwind. There's really no avoiding it. Uh, and so that's going to add a little bit of a challenge to this, uh, this trip. But, uh, you know, I thought, well, why not make it even more challenging? And this is something I've wanted to do for a little while, but uh, I thought I'd come up with a new charger challenge. So essentially what this is, is um, I'm going to make this trip using only chargers that I've never used before. If you follow my channel, you know that I do a number of trips up and down California and I use a lot of different charging sites. I go out of my way to use charging sites to review them. So uh, being able to find chargers that I've never used before is actually really difficult, but I'm doing this to emphasize a point, which is to sort of just show how quickly the charging infrastructure is growing. Uh, and so on this trip, we're gonna head up Highway 99 I'm gonna use hopefully three charging sites that I've never used before. And whether I've reviewed them or not, even when I've done trips that I haven't published, right? Uh, these are chargers that I've never actually used. So this will be my first time, maybe struggle getting to them, maybe struggle finding them. Uh, but uh, you know, they're not all gonna be faster than 150 amps or you know they're not going to push the bolt evs max charging rate so uh it, it's going to add a bit of a challenge to this trip but it should be fun and uh it should be a way to also share some things that i've never shared before especially since i didn't really have a chance to share some of my early trips as widely as i would have uh, no one really wanted to hear about successful trips with the bolt ev in 2017 and so this is maybe a bit of a return to that using some of these older charging sites uh, and you know just struggling to find sites that I've never been to before so uh, this should be fun but uh, let's uh, get packed up and head head out I'm hoping to get out uh, before 8:30. Uh, unfortunately I'm never as early as I I need to be and I spent most of this morning just packing up the Bolt EV so uh, yeah let's head out All right, well, we made it here. I, I guess this is technically Delano, California. Uh, it's literally like four exits north of the uh, EVgo charger that I you know, used to use a reasonable amount of time uh, over by the Walmart. Uh, so this is a, a brand new EV Connect charger. Never used it before, and in fact, according to the employees, I think I'm the first person to use it. So, uh, yeah, they they know about it going in, and uh, they they were just sort of clueless about who would use it and when. Um, but it, you know, it's it's a decent option. Uh, EV Connect they received one of those California Energy uh, Commission grants, so they're able to build uh, chargers along Highway 99 using that grant fund money. We should. Have have more than enough to make it to the next charger but you know I'm not in a rush I, I'm kind of want to do a, 
a quick site review, take advantage of the uh, um, extra power from the charger to run the AC. You know, when I got here, uh, it, it was there were a few hiccups uh, trying to get the charger started, uh, but that's because the IDs didn't match in their system, so we got that sorted out. Uh, but uh, but otherwise, yeah, it's a pretty pretty straightforward site using BTC power uh, units. I'd been packing the whole morning, so I, I left without eating breakfast or ha you know having any coffee or anything. So uh, this sort of made a perfect stop for that. Uh, but yeah. Uh, I think I'm going to do a quick site review, but after that I'm just going to pack up and uh, get ready to head out. All right, well, we're here in Chowchilla. Uh, you know, I stopped by this EVgo charger here, and this is sort of a study in contrasts because while that EV Connect charger is one of the newest that's gone in on Highway 99, this uh, Chowchilla charger is one of the oldest that went in on Highway 99. Uh, one of the first times I actually saw it in use was uh, Alex Venz when he did his video, uh, you know, trying to pretend like his uh, Model S was a uh, Bolt EV and doing a road trip and seeing what it would be like using the public charging infrastructure. And uh, so he used this charger back then. Uh, and ironically, like I said, given the number of times I've made this trip, uh, I've never used this charger. Part of that is it just doesn't really align. Uh, typically, my first stop on this trip is about 200 miles out. This is only 50 miles farther, so it would normally not be a stop that I would make. Uh, but the other aspect of that is, too, it's only 100 amp. Now, I was told that this charger had been upgraded to 125 amp, but that's just not the case. This is still only a 100 amp charger, uh, so you know that really adds significant amount of time. Uh, you're talking about nearly a 20 percent uh, time uh, penalty for a car like the Bolt EV uh, versus even just a 125 amp charger. So I never was really compelled to use this charger before, uh, so I often just skipped over it. So anyway, one of the things that I forgot too is, you know, EVgo, I haven't been using them for very often. Uh, we just hit our 45 minute uh, cutoff, uh, which it automatically ends the session. Uh, and unfortunately, it looks like it doesn't let you restart the session anymore. Uh, so, you know, I'm just going to pack up and head out. Hopefully I have enough to make it to another charger that I've never used before. Well, we're here in uh, the Florin uh, uh, Walmart down here in southern Sacramento. Uh, there's a nice Electrify America site here that I've never used before. Um, you know, and we made it with about 2% battery, and I figured I could pretty much stretch it. The 20 mile an hour winds that were forecast, uh, they didn't really come on early on, so we didn't really see that. Uh, however, they did start hitting pretty hard right around Modesto, uh, but luckily, you know, for whatever reason, they started shifting, and it was supposed to stay like a headwind or front quartering wind, and by the time I got 30, 40 miles past Modesto, it was more like a rear quartering wind, which is actually in some ways beneficial, so uh, Zahunta became Zahunted, but 
besides all of that, uh, yeah, so we made it with about 2% battery. You know, I was sort of monitoring uh, the range left to get to the charger. It, we were low propulsion power reduced by the time we got here. Uh, I did have to slow down a little bit, which typically I don't do, uh, but this is for science, right? This is a challenge to, to use chargers that I've never used before. So, uh, yeah, that's that's pretty much it. So we made it. Uh, just checking out the charger. I'll probably do a quick charge uh, site review while I'm here. They have one of the gig rental Bolt EVs, which is really cool um, over there on that side. Uh, that's one of the ones that you can rent through the app. Unfortunately, whoever had it just parked it in front of the Electrify America charger there, the only Chatamo head to, and they're just sitting there, not plugged in, uh, not charging, and so that's not ideal. Uh, you'd prefer that not to be the case because the, these are sort of the rideshare program, but I, I really like the program. I just don't like that the car is being left there blocking a charger like that. Uh, because you can technically leave them anywhere you want in the city and then come and pick them up later. Um, but unfortunately, I also wasn't able to go into the store because they're closing at 5 with everything that's going on. They're doing their cleaning, uh, their spacing, their, their distancing. So uh, no going into Walmart. This is a big site, but... Uh, I'm kind of probably just stick close to the uh, chargers. I'm going to do a quick review of the site, uh, get packed up and ready to head out. All right, well, unfortunately with the, uh, with the wind, you know, it's kicking up to maybe 20, 25, 30 miles an hour. Uh, and just, we're eating through battery too fast. There, there's no way I was gonna be able to make it all the way um, up into the mountains, especially with the elevation gain and all of the extra weight that I'm carrying back there. Uh, it, it was just gonna get too close to call. You know, I was down to, maybe less than 60 miles of estimated range with more than you know 60 miles to go and I'm, I'm going by the min there so I had to stop off here in Dunnigan and I know a lot of you are probably saying well <laughs> hey you've charged up in Dunnigan before so that means you lost your challenge right? Not quite. Actually there's a second charging site in Dunnigan. I've been here before but I've never charged because it wasn't online at the time. But you know, ChargePoint has since brought this charger online. Uh, there's a 50 kilowatt tritium DC fast charger here and uh, a couple of level two chargers. I don't know why they're at a gas station, but hey, so here we are at a Chevron and this actually worked out too because I actually had to use the bathroom uh, when I stopped by uh, Walmart the store was closed, so um, you know you couldn't even go in and use the bathroom or anything. So uh, yeah, it all sort sort of uh, worked out. So I really only needed to stop here for about five to ten minutes to top up enough that I feel comfortable, uh, not only with the extra energy that the wind is going to take but also uh, between the 70 mile an hour freeway basically most of the way and the 1500 to 2000 foot elevation increase uh, yeah i mean that that should be enough to cover me and uh yeah so i'm just going to uh get packed up and uh ready to complete this 500 mile trip using nothing but new chargers that i've never charged at before
there you have it. Just over 11 hours to go, uh, well, just under 500 miles. And actually, that, that might be a little bit better than I was expecting. The Bolt EV was loaded to the gunnels. Um, you know, we ended with, what, 3.2 miles per kilowatt hour of efficiency. Uh, the wind was, you know, getting really bad, uh, easily 20, 25 miles an hour. Uh, for the last 100 miles or so of the drive, maybe 200 miles of the drive. So, you know, like I said, 11 hours actually is a, you know, it's a pretty, pretty good clip given uh, the nature of the trip. But I, I succeeded and uh, overcame the challenge of using only chargers that I've never used before to complete this 500 mile trip. Uh, so I, I think that's actually pretty good. And like I said, I wanted to do this more as an illustration of the, you know, the fact that the network is continuing to grow. Some of these are new chargers that are, aren't just new to me, they're just new to the public. And then some of them, them are old chargers that I just never got around to using. Either they never fit into the trips that I was planning, uh, or, you know, there, there were just better options basically. So, uh, I, I think that bodes well, right, for the public charging infrastructure, because I think really what we're looking for now is not just more chargers, but more options, things to do when you stop different places to stop. Uh, having a charger every 20 to 30 miles along a route, uh, that's going to really help out in terms of diversifying who can travel and where they need to stop and what they're doing when they stop. Anyway, I hope this was informative and let me know if you liked this sort of challenge video or if you'd like to see me do more challenges uh, where I try to drive this 500 mile route again using more chargers that I've never used before. So let me know in the comments below and uh, if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. It really helps out the channel and thank you for watching.